Hi everyone and welcome to the English podcast with MMJ. If you are ready, let's go. This is chapter 4. The Olympic Games. When the next Olympic Games begin, satellites will carry TV pictures of the opening ceremony to millions of people thousands of miles away. From their armchairs, these people will be able to see their country's athletes competing in events and maybe winning a bronze, silver or even gold medal. When we consider the size, the spectacle and the commercialism of the modern Olympic Games, it is difficult to remember that they started in Olympia in Greece in 776 BC with only one race, a sprint for which the prize for the winner was an olive wreath. The idea of an international Olympic Games was conceived by a Frenchman, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, and appropriately, the first modern Olympic Games opened in Athens in 1896. Nowadays, major cities compete to host the Olympic Games, not just for the honor the Games bring, but for the vast amount of profit a host country can make. The games have also become politically important. They can now be seen by nearly every country in the world and are, therefore, an ideal platform for political statements. When Soviet troops invaded Afghanistan in 1980, many countries in the West, including Britain and the United States, boycotted the Moscow Games. In 1984, some countries decided not to send teams to the Los Angeles Games because they felt there was not enough security. In circumstances like these, the Olympic ideal and spirit comes into question. And for athletes, there is less value in winning a gold medal if the best of the world's athletes are not competing. The question is, how much longer will the games survive if nations continue to use them as a political platforms?